Star Wars Darth Vader Book 2 Part 3 Shadows and Secrets It is a period of insurgence. After the destruction of the Death Star by a four-strong rebel pilot, the Sith Lord Darth Vader was deemed responsible by his master, Emperor Palpatine. Enlisting the help of archaeologist Dr. Aphra and droids BT and Triple Zero, Vader is able to pursue his own agenda under the Empire's ever-watchful eye. Using the expertise of Aphra and a carefully selected crew of bounty hunters, Vader looted a stash of credits from an Imperial cruiser under the guise of an accident. Complete with a droid army, a team of bounty hunters, and an Imperial fortune on hand, Vader is one step closer to finding the rebel pilot. Now, in the Anthan system, Vader's new adjutant, Imperial Inspector Thanos, gets to the bottom of what happened on the ill-fated Imperial cruiser. That's Vader's TIE fighter. He's here alone. It's got to be a trap. No one's this lucky. Random sighting, and now we get a chance at Darth Vader. That's a risk we're all willing to take for a chance to put Vader in our sights. And we only need to be lucky once. At last. The Rebellion has many failings. Your slowness is most aggravating. And off to Darth Vader. What is it? I'm set up on an Anthan Prime. I need your assistance immediately. I believe I have a lead to those responsible for the robbery. What made you so sure it was a crime and not an accident? Accidents happen. Accidents can be made to happen. Tag wanted me to have a closer look. He had already budgeted those resources towards a Super Star Destroyer. You know Tag and his Super Star Destroyers. I examined its systems. There was no sign of interference. In fact, suspiciously little sign of interference. With a meteor strike, I'd expect much more basal disruption. I suspect the logs were reset to factory defaults by the criminals to cover their actions. I was suspicious about the main penetration too. Not what I'd have expected for a normal asteroid. It'd have required an unusually high metal content. My theory is a small team manufactured a meteor storm with explosives and used it to cover the fact they disabled the ship with an ion charge. Board it, located the vault and then manually fired an enhanced meteor to create a breach, ejecting everything into space. And then collected their proverbial ill-gotten gains. But you could be mistaken. I can't be sure, but it seems logical enough. I hope you are correct. My time is too precious to spend chasing phantoms. I agree, for both of us. Frankly, locating even a sizable fortune feels a little beneath us. Still, while these criminals are professional, they didn't consider people of our caliber would be after them. We can finish this quickly and return to more serious work. Actually, regarding work, I did mean to ask. You would have been on Anthan Prime to oversee the transfer of the shipment. What actually brought you to Anthan 13? I pursued a rebel cell there. I dealt with them. It wasn't reported. I do not consider eliminating a few rebels a matter that requires comment. If you wish, you may go and see the remains yourself. Whom do we seek? Eventually. A gentleman who goes by the dragon, most infamous of arms dealers in the area. If they got explosives, it would have been through him. One of his dealers will have been here, Duan. A somewhat coarse gentleman who I have suspected will require a little persuasion. And where is here? A droid fighting den. Actual blood fights are illegal on Anthan. As such, they have grey establishments that tickle that urge. Grey? 
the attractions are just about legal. The clientele is entirely not, which makes it an excellent place for locating elements such as Duan. We will act quietly. It is best if we don't. Ah, uh, Lord Vader, you are not expected. This is unacceptable. The criminal elements gather beneath stones. We must lift them carefully. We're sealing the perimeter as ordered, sir. Step aside. Hmm, whoever could be responsible for this uncouthness? The twins, what are they doing? Rudimentary, if effective blade work. It's been a while since you've watched another lightsaber wielded in anger, I suspect. Does it make you nostalgic? Not in the slightest. Ah, there's our man Duan. Duan, a word if you will. Step closer and I'll... Good to see you too. I trust you are well. This is my colleague, Lord Vader. He wanted to have a few words. Hmm, a little loud out here. Perhaps a word in a quiet corner. This will do. Thank you, Lord Vader. What are you doing back on that hand? I missed the social scene. I can't give you anything. There are too many witnesses. Increasingly fewer with every second. And I think you'll rather talk with us than return to the fray. What do you want? The dragon, his whereabouts. I... I... Let me think. You are thinking that you merely need to delay for a few minutes. Then they will be gone and you can feed us your pitiful deceptions. Know this, the callow youths will leave. I will remain. The dragon is off planet on the mid-moons. And then twelve. A lie. He's... He's... He's mentioned in the lower reaches of Prime's Eastwood Core, 241-86-1872. Truth. Thank you for your civic-minded generosity, Duan. I see the two youngsters have calmed down. Let's see if we can help them a little with the careful hand of experience. Good day, Morit. Good day, Ionin. This is Duan. He knows many people in the armor supply business. I dare say they've supplied the plasma devils. As such, this man may be of some use in your investigation. He can. And what precisely do you think you are doing? A show of force. We have no laurels to rest on, no reputation. Now the planet knows who we are and what we do to anyone who opposes us. It's messy but necessary. Now all can see how bloody the Imperial Fist can be. We cannot afford to show any of the usual weaknesses. Hmm, I suppose they would kill the Plasma Devils if they killed every single living thing in this sector. Children. One should never send children to do an adult's job, Lord Vader. And we live in a universe brimming full of children. Hmm. You're quiet. Not a surprise. That aligns with your reputation. You're also passive. This does not. You're a man who has bestowed the galactic stage, yet I am taking lead. I couldn't wish for a better implied threat than your presence, Lord Vader, but I can't help but wonder about your motivation. The last man Tag sent was a traitor. I'm trying to ascertain if you are dangerous. Oh, I am Lord Vader. But only to the enemies of the Empire. Archangel requesting landing. I believe a vessel such as yours must be here for the tradesman's entrance. Oh, how rude. Let's kill them. <laughs> no, triple zero. We should know our place. Holiday resort for the hyper-rich up top.
but below we have something a little more our speed. Oh, hollow chess. Beautiful hollow chess. It's been a while. Bleep. Yes, I have been locked in a storage for years. That is a while. Are you any good? My specialities are etiquette, customs, translation and torture. A lot of non-essential protocol droid programming was jettisoned to fit that last one in. So no, I'm terrible, Mistress Aphra, but I do love it so. Bleep! Though yes, I suppose I am a terribly sore loser. Ah, Auntie, long time. First, that's the Auntie. Secondly, it's been a long, long time since you could afford my red saffron. But now you've cleared your slate. What are you looking for? And before you start, I stress I have a lot of information about some particularly elusive individuals. I know. Anything worth knowing has passed through that big, bald brain of yours. Commander Oxtan, this is what we've got. Hmm. Done. Are you sure this is the right guy? Military clerk in the Republic era before leaving service and entering the family trade upon death of his father. Retired now for nearly 20 years. There are no refunds. Hey, he's the one. Give me everything you've got. Afra, you just spent a lot of money to get information you could probably have found through official records. I did, but you're faster and far more discreet. That I am. Good doing business, Afra. B. I have to agree with BT, mistress. This Commodox Tan doesn't sound like somebody who could possibly be of interest to master. Probably not. I mean, just a boring career in a family business. They were morticians on Naboo.